Shalom family. Isn't the most high good? He's good. He's good. He's great. He's great. He's good all the time. This is a testimony. This is a testimony that you need to know about. Our people need to know about, especially our people in America. Our people that says we don't have money to come out. We can how can we come out? We're poor. He wouldn't ask us to come out. We don't have much money. Listen, this is for you. This is for you. You need to hear this testimony. Now, why Americans? There's something about Americans that are different from other people. This, this testimony comes from someone that is not an American. It can't come from us. We would never do this. It's not in us to do what this person did. So, what did this person do? Number one, this person trusts in the Most High like none of them. I haven't seen any other trust in the Father like this one did. We wouldn't have done what this one done. This one is alone, may I add, one person, not a family. So, what did the person do? What, what, how did the person trust the Most High? The person knew that we are to be within the borders. And to get within the borders, but the person didn't have enough money. So the person prayed. The person went to the father. The person got in contact with the father. And the father started dealing with the person. This person is someone that knows scriptures. That's another point. You have to know scripture. You have to know what he says. And so the person began to make the necessary steps to get within the borders with no money or with very very little money not nearly enough see when our people see they don't have enough money they don't try to do anything they don't take a step forward they're like a baby trying to learn to walk without taking the first step this person took many steps and so what happens the Most High opened up this door. The Most High opened up that door. The Most High did this for that person. The Most High did that for that person. The next thing you know, the person is within the borders once again with no money. No money. How did she get here? See, that's a miracle. And the Father's already told me, we will see within the borders, we will see miracles before the wilderness. This is what he told me. And this is nothing short than a miracle. So, okay, the person within the boards. Now what? You need a place to stay. The person went through so many different obstacles before the person left. Now the person within the borders, and there are more obstacles. And the person keeps on moving. See, Americans, you put one obstacle in front of us, put one chair in front of our people. They're trying to come out. The enemy, all, they, all he has to do is put one chair in front of our people, and they will stop. And say, see, the Most High must not want me to come out. You see, this person is not an American. They didn't. Do, this person didn't do this. So the person is within the borders now. The Most High opened up more doors. The Most High did this. The Most High did that. The Most High set the person up. Watch this. With a job. With money. With an apartment. Wait a second. How can the Father do this? You see, this person tapped into the Father's power and found that out. Our people don't know. I, I've been telling our people for the longest. You got to learn how to tap into his power. And this is where we fall short. We fall short not knowing how to tap into his power. His power is available for all of us to tap into it. But we fail to tap into this power. Now, I know the details of the obstacles and they were this this person I've seen many of us come out 
especially the Americans. I've seen many of us, none of us had nowhere near as many obstacles as this person had. None. They didn't have the obstacles that this person, we, listen, we didn't have a quarter of the obstacles of this person that, ha that had, not even a quarter. It's not for me to share the details of the obstacles. If I was to share the details that I know that the person shared with me, you wouldn't believe it. You wouldn't even believe it because it's unbelievable. You would say that didn't happen. No, that didn't happen. What's the point here? Our people got it made. Easy for us to come out. I will give you one example how, how much easier it is for us to come out than someone that's not an American. I was giving information to this person concerning the, the, the passports. And lo and behold, this person had to teach me something because we came from America. We didn't come out of another country. And it, they had to show how they can't just get a passport and come over here. We can in America, but this person could. They need extra. They need to do more. They got to jump through more circles and loops and hoops. All we have to do is get a passport and f fly out and go into the country. But it's not so with them. There are more steps to take. They got a passport. They can't come within the borders. Yeah, it was new to me also. It was a shocker to me also. This I didn't know. She had, this person had more obstacles. More obstacles than what we had. I mean, it's this uncomparable. And we whimper and cry because there's a chair in our way. See, the most high, number, he must not meant for us to come out. Then there's one family, they got all this money. They got all this money talking about every time we try to come out, the most high, it seems like it's something standing in our way. So we just stop. Yeah, that's very smart. Stay in her, stay in her for your the destruction is at hand. He said, come out of her, my people. He said, share not in her iniquities so that you don't receive her plagues. That's the command. And our people care not about the command of the king. They say they do, but they don't. So no one understand. There are others that came out that had obstacles after obstacles after obstacles. Did not Yahushua tell us difficult is the way that leads to life? Our people want it easy. So to sit still in Babylon, do nothing, that's easy. To sit still in the lands of your captivity, that's easy. That's going to lead to destruction. Now people have to be told this because they don't know better. You don't have people telling them any better. And I have to be honest, most of our people are lazy. They don't want to do their own research. They don't want to study. They don't even want to pray. They don't want to seek the Father for themselves and their family to see if these things aren't so. They act as if their life is not at hand. So we can't be making up excuses. See, there's a chair in my way. There's an obstacle in my way. They told me and my family at the airport, send for those bags. They're not, you're not going anywhere. <clears throat> this is what we were told. You are not going anywhere. Wait a second. We pay for our tickets, our flight tickets. Yes. We have our bags packed. We have everything, uh, we, we have everything in order. Yes. Our bags checked. Everything's okay. Yes. Do we have any weapons or anything that we're not supposed to have? No. So what was the problem? It was an obstacle. So immediately, I paid that person no attention. I began to pray to the Father. Immediately. They sent for the bags back. They told us we weren't going nowhere. They held us. See, that's, that's them refusing to let the people go when they're supposed to be let loose. Let them go. 
let my people go. They're going to show resistance sometimes. This is an obstacle. Americans, the least obstacle, get in our way. We done. We finished. You got to keep pressing through all those obstacles. You don't have enough money. You better know the power of the Father. You better know how to tap into the power of the Father. And that's what this person did. So we, 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 we realize something. We possibly have the first one to come within the borders with no money. <laughs> Let me say it. <laughs> with no money. How can you go with no money? Now that's the that, that's that's something you gotta you gotta tap into the power to even understand what's being said. Because we know what's coming. We know even if you are in a land, watch this. See, this person was in a land that wasn't Babylon, the land that's gonna be destroyed, but the person understands Yaakov's trouble coming to swallow me up and we need to get to a place of safety so not only babylon we were scattered in all the world you and another nation talking about we got people in canada think they safe ridiculous people in south america think they're safe ridiculous you in south america you're not safe Yaakov's trouble coming. South America is the land of our captivity. Also, you in Europe, you're not safe. These are the lands of our captivity. And I have to say it. If you are in the land of Ham, I have to say it. You're not safe. That's why you have to leave and get within the border. If you are in covenant with the Father, you have to get within the borders also. And see, this, this person realized that. This person knew that. And now the person is in the birth canal. That's a, this is a miracle. We're fleeing in the winter. I still cannot believe we're fleeing in the winter. Because they stopped us when it was time for us to leave. And we have others. It's crunch time. It's here. This is crunch time. The playtime is over. Now it's crunch time. It's grind time. And Yaakov gonna Yaakov trouble gonna swallow our people whole. It's not gonna chew you up and spit you out. It's gonna swallow our people he said my my people are sheep prepared led for the slaughter this is what he said the people sheep prepared for the slaughter this is what he likened his people unto so anyone take this uh testimony take it to heart anyone talking about no matter what country you in you got to come out of all the countries we must come out of all, if you in covenant with him, you must come out of all the countries and get within the borders. And yes, there will be obstacles. Be like this person. Go through the obstacles. Press forward through the obstacles. Yes, he, the enemy not going to sit back and let you do it. Did the enemy sit back when Abraham went to offer his son? No, he didn't sit back and do nothing. He did something. He tried to stop it. And he's going to try to stop us from coming out. And when he tried to stop us, that's not from the Father for you not to come out. That's not what that is. You got to press forward now. You, When they went into the wilderness, you think they didn't have to go through something? This is our people problem. They're trying to get to the end of the journey. And not go through what we have to go through. The wilderness journey. They don't want to go through. They're operating backwards over in Jordan. And the father's going to kick all of them to the curb. They've already been warned. But the time has come for them to get kicked to the curb. So don't let no obstacles, anything stand in your way. You just come out of her knowing that you're being 
you're doing what the Father has commanded you to do. Shalom.